All right, sorry again, technical difficulties. Internet messed up, so you only missed the kickoff as the ball is returned out to about the Stroud 44-yard line, 43-yard line, first and 10. Another pretty good return. Another pretty good return there by Stroud. Something to think about, too. They've always had pretty good field position out of every kickoff. We'll see what Baker's got playing this series as he's got Blackheart behind him. the defense can respond here. We need some plays here. He'll hand it off to Blackheart up the middle, and he's met by two or three Red Devils. No gain. It's Holes Apple, Connor Davis. And Charlie Thompson of the Red Devils. I believe Jacob Lee, number 17, got a little bit of that as well. Bring up second and about, oh, nine and a half. Dylan Baker under center again. Blackheart behind him. He put a man in motion. He's going to roll out to his left looking to pass. He throws it and wings it. He's got a guy open, and, and it's a caught by number 11. I believe that's Blackheart who Peyton Ezell had coverage on him out there. He just flat beats him on an out route. And then I think Jacob Lee just saved a touchdown there, tackling him or knocking him out of bounds at about the Red Devil 25-yard line. So Stroud will have excellent field position, first and 10 from the Red Devil 25. I actually think that that was number 10, Brady Nichols. Yeah, tough to see. Again, Stroud has interesting going with a white jersey with a white number. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Stroud's got it at about the Red Devil 25-yard line after that big play there from Baker to Nichols. So Baker's going to go under center. Again, Blackheart behind him, puts a man in motion, hands it off to Blackheart straight up the middle, and he's met by two or three Red Devils. I believe that was uh, Hedge, Ryan Hedge, number seven, who had the initial contact on the tackle. That'll bring up second and about 07 here. With 8.49 left in the first half. One thing about Stroud, their offense, as we were talking about earlier, is really similar to the Red Devils, but they like to pass it more, for sure. They do, for they sure. They like to air it out. Baker's not afraid. Baker under center. He'll hand it off to Blackheart, who goes nowhere. And he's hit by the whole defensive line of Preg, including Trevor McGinnis, um, Cooper Smith, Holes Apples in there. So that's going to be a loss on the play. That'll bring it up about third and about – Oh, seven or eight here. I would say that this is a big third down, but Stroud has proven to go for it on fourth, so really it's about two downs. Seven fifty-two and counting in the first quarter, or I'm sorry, first half. As Baker's going to go under center with Blackheart again behind him, puts one in motion, and now they're going to reset here. I don't know what they're going to do. Timeout. So we're going to call a timeout. So Stroud didn't like something they saw there. Timeout, Stroud, 7.35 left in the, until half, and we'll be right back. Stream like the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. 
the way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Personal foul, I think roughing the passer. Oh, they're going to call roughing the passer. So the touchdown is good. I just re After we come back from commercial here, um, Stroud catches a long touchdown pass as uh, Morris jukes out two or three defenders and scores. So 7.28 left in the first half, 21 to 20. And this could be a pretty big two-point conversion chance for Stroud right here, down by one. So Stroud going for two here. As Baker's under center, he'll put one in motion. He'll hand it off Got to it. him. I believe it was number four. Dylan Collins who scores the two-point conversion. So Stroud will go up 22 to 21 on the Red Devils with 728 left. We'll be back with the kickoff. Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. All right, and we're back as both teams trot on the field. And Preg is ready to receive. Again, Trip Davis, number one. Number three, Aiden Ald. And 15, John Friend back for the Red Devils. But Grant McGinnis, number 44, has been catching most of them. This is uh, the first time all season, again, only game three, but that the Red Devils have been down in the second quarter. It, it, it even been close. Yeah. So let's see how their offenses respond. Again, our offense has not been the problem. As they'll try an onside kick here, and it's quickly jumped on, and I'm not really sure who jumped on it. Is that 42? 42. Dex McKee. It's a good play. He jumped on it, and he, he, he smart, smart just fell on it, as he should. So the Preg will get excellent field position starting in the Tiger territory at about there, the Tiger 48, 49 yard line, first and 10. So again, offense has not been Preg's problem. It's been the defense of Stroud has kind of had their way offensively as we have with them. Like I said earlier, I think they've scored two touchdowns in about nine plays. Davis in the shotgun, Trevor McGinnis behind him. Ezell in motion. He'll keep it, pitch it out to Ezell. Ezell should, oh, he, oh. I thought if he would have cut that up, he would have kind of had it. So Ezell's going to get tackled for about a three-yard loss there on the option play. It'll be second about 12 or 13. Another good play there by Morris. This time on defense. Now he's a pretty big kid. Yeah. I say kid, young man. They list him at six foot, 160. He looks bigger. 
as Davis is under center this time. He'll reach around, hand it to Trevor McGinnis, who plows forward for about two yards near midfield. Um, maybe a yard, be third and long. So yeah. Prague facing its first third and long situation tonight. Talked about their offense so much. 6.34 left in the half. Came out some struggles this drive. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's Trip's going to do trip stuff here in a minute. That is true. So Davis under center again. He usually doesn't do this. He'll turn around. He'll fake it to several. He's trying to keep it himself. Dodges two tackles, and here goes Trip up the left-hand side. And he's got the first down near the Stroud 35. Told you. Trip you Davis were right. stuff. You were right. He should have been tackled in the backfield. Two, Twice. two Tigers had him. And he, he, I don't know how he does it, folks, but that's what Trip does. And he busts loose a big run for a first down. Ball's going to be spotted at the slippery. Stroud Tiger 36-yard line. He is slippery, especially in the backfield. So he'll go back to shotgun with Trevor behind him, all to his left. He's L to the right. A couple of receivers. He'll hand it off to McGinnis up the middle, who dances and dodges one, lowers his head for another, and he's going to be close to another first down. Looks like he'll be just a yard or two short. Let's call it a gain of about eight or nine ball be placed at the Stroud Tiger 27 yard line. Second one. So it'll be eight yard gain by McGinnis. Trip under center again. Takes the snap. He's going to hand it to Ault this time. Going around. He's got a lot of room. He's going to cut it back up. Dodges Blackheart on the end. He'll get about five or six here as down. Aiden picks up a pretty good chunk of yards here. Okay, sorry, a little bit technical difficulties, but we should be good. All right, it looks like third and about three or four for the Red Devils as Davis is under center. Take the snap, turns around, hands it to Aiden Ald going around the left-hand side. He's going to cut it back up, duck his head. First down. And that's inside the 10-yard line. That'll be good enough for a preg first down. A couple plays ago there, Mike, was the first um, attempted pass of the night from the Red Devils. Davis had his L wide open in the back of the end zone, but Morris made a great leaping deflection for Stroud. So it looks like it's going to be first to go from about the eight. Full extension. So Davis in the shotgun now. Trevor McGinnis to his left. He'll hand it off to Trevor up the middle. He's bouncing and jumping, and he'll score. So again, the big man showing his quick feet as he loves to do that little side shuffle move, and he dodges several Tigers and is in for the touchdown. With 3.58 left in the half, Preg up 27-22 to at the moment, pinning the PAT. So it looks like Preg is going to go for two here. Davis in the shotgun. He's going to turn around and hand it to McGinnis. No, he's going to keep it. And they had them all faked out. So, so Davis pulls the ball from McGinnis and as easily walks in for the two-point conversion. 
29-22 is the score. 358 until half. We'll be right back. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and Okay, we're back as the kickoff as number 73, Trevor Ringle, is set to kick it off for the Red Devils. 3.58 left until half. Ringle's good kick down the left-hand side. It'll be fielded about the 30-yard oh, line. He dropped the ball. Yep. And number 50, I think it was 50. If it's 56, it's Holesapple. I think it's 55. Nope. Not really sure who's got it. 53. As he's mugged 53. by his whole team. Let's find out who number 53 is and give him some props. That is Connor Klein, the senior with an excellent recovery as Ringo's kick hits the Tiger right in the chest and bounces off of him. And uh, Mr. So Klein just jumps on it really quick. Prague had a special teams mistake early in the game, and now Stroud has a special teams mistake. Let's see if uh, the Red Devils can take advantage of it. That would be huge to take a two-touchdown lead going into halftime. they got plenty of time, 356 left in the half. Plenty of time. Two timeouts. 29-22 is the score. You can see it on the screen. I'll just try to update you on the clock as Davis is in the shotgun this time. Last series, he was under center quite a bit, which is kind of unusual. He'll turn around. He'll fake it to McGinnis, and he's bouncing outside, and he's gone. Trip Davis running around the right-hand side. One got a beat. Lowers his head, drags him in the end zone. Touchdown, Prague. So he fakes the handoff to Trevor McGinnis and kicks it outside and runs. 39-yard touchdown by, by uh, Trip Davis. One play touchdown drive. <laughs> and the Red Devils will go for two here as Davis is in the shotgun. He'll take the shotgun snap, hands it off to big Trevor McGinnis who's cut down and I don't think he got it. He nope. did not get it. So the score 35 to 22 with 346 left in the half and we'll be back with the kickoff after this maximize athletic performance his work with pros in sports training injury prevention bracing functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise get started by going to diesel horse sports and orthopedics let dr matt diesel horse get you back on the field backing all oklahoma athletes on the field and off <laughs> Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see... Uh, we're back as number 73, Ringle, is set to kick it off for the Red Devils. Again, 346 left in the half. Oh, a little onside oh. kick by Ringle, and that's uh. not going to go 10 yards. 
So it looks like Stroud will get excellent field position inside Preg Red Devil territory. Ball be placed at about the Red Devil 49, first and 10 Stroud. That's interesting, Mike. I didn't know that if no one touches the ball, then that's just where the ball is. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Inside of 10 yards. I so know, if it passes 10 yards, then. Yeah, that's true. Then Prey could, have could jump it. on it. Right. And if we would have touched it so before it really the 10 yards, been, it would have been a flag. Yeah. We need a, an official I think official up here that we can uh, ask questions about. I think, though, in college, if it doesn't go 10 yards, that's technically a flag, but all it does is put it where the ball is. Baker under center. He's going to hand it off, running around the left-hand side, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 46-yard line of Prig. I'm not really sure who ran the ball there. Again, the numbers Stroud are wearing, they're wearing a white jersey with the, with the blue numbers, but it's, it's, it's outlined in blue and the numbers are still white. Yeah. So it's, it's really hard to see from up here. I think that was number four running the ball there, Dylan Collins. Yes, it was number four. So Stroud gains a few yards on first down. It would be second and about, oh, six or seven here. So my internet's finally kind of working, so we'll knock on wood. Hopefully it keeps up. So again, what, you got to watch this number eight out here. Morris, as the ball's handed off to Blackheart up the middle, he'll get no gain. Host of Red Devils on the tackle. Brandon Davis on the tackle, initially. Gain of about one, third and seven still. Mari Morris, number eight, I would always have somebody on that guy because he's done probably 90 percent well 80 yeah. percent Blackheart's done some really good runs I would say Baker too I mean he's yeah been throwing for him sure. the ball so Morris split out to our side closest to us guarded by Aiden Ald as Baker's under center snap. he's gonna throw a quick shot oh. out here to Morris and it's almost picked off by Aiden Ald so Aiden has learned from his mistakes and jumps that really early and folks he was a split second away from from picking that off as as Morris and him got there right at the same time. I think that was a, a little bit further than maybe they wanted Morris to be outside because that's a tough throw, throwing it. That's a long way to throw yeah. the ball. I think they would rather that be, have Morris be closer to the quarterback with those so quick passes. So fourth and about seven. It's not really a screen, Mike, because the screen is usually where there's a blocker out in front. Yeah, it's just it's like just he just runs like a one-yard hitch, and they throw it out and say, hey, if you can beat that guy one-on-one, -on -one, do it. And he has been. Yeah, so and also they, they also like to do it when Tripp, like he's right now, comes up close to the line of scrimmage when it's right. just one-on-one. -on -one. So we got a whistle on the field. It looks like it's going to be a timeout. The Tigers, as they're going to think over this fourth and six or seven attempt, with 2.47 left in the half, and we'll be back after the, after the timeout. See them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nix, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest price. Okay, and we're back after the timeout. So again, fourth and about seven here as Baker's under center for the Tigers. He'll put one in motion. He's going to throw it, guys. He's got plenty of time. He hurls it down the right-hand side. He's got one open. Morris has got the catch as Braden Davis can't hang on, and he's pushed out of bounds for a first down at the Red Devil 15-yard line. Good saving tackle by number three, Aiden Ald there, and that's going to be a first. That was a solid play there by Collins. The concentration to catch the ball and let, you know, the Preg defender almost go by. He did catch him by the jersey, but really good 
concentration there. So they needed six, and they got a lot more yeah. than that. But they still haven't moved the markers yet, so I don't know what they're talking about here. So we'll see what the I deal is. I don't see a flag. Oh, there is a flag. Oh, there is a here. flag. Okay, yeah. so I didn't see the flag. So flag thrown on the closest side to me and Parker near the 10, 15-yard line. It's probably going to be a some. Oh. That's on Stroud. Unsportsman. So let's see if this is going to be after the play or during the play. So it looks like he they're going to mark it back, and if it's inside the third, the f yeah, 39, then it's going to be a turnover. I believe when he raises his hand, does that mean after the play? I probably so yeah, dead ball that. foul. He did do that. That's still going to be enough for the first down. So Stroud picks up an unsportsmanlike conduct play. I didn't see anything. I, I mean, I saw the guy kind of taunt him a little bit, but I, yeah. I mean, I didn't really think, I think much that's of what that. I think that's what they're saying. He kind of stood over Aiden at yeah. it as he did it. Well, ah, it is what it is. I think that's – Kind of one of those newer rules, you know. They're all kind of trying to cut down on all the taunting and jump. All levels are trying to eliminate that. So first down for the Tigers, even after the penalty. It's going to be first and ten from the Preg Red Devil 39. Baker under center. He's going to roll out to his left, looking to throw. He's going to keep it. Cuts it back outside, oh. but Trevor McGinnis isn't going to let him go anywhere. So really Trevor McGinnis wraps him up uh, near the original line of scrimmage. McGinnis was not fooled. Really good open field tackle there. It was. He just wrapped him up. So There's a new guy in the backfield there for Shroud, number 40, Kaysen Presley, six foot two. Yeah, uh, he's pretty tall. Yeah. So we're going to say no game. Second and ten, it looks like Preg's going to have a timeout here. So 2.08 left in the halftime uh, until half. 35 to 22 is your score, and we'll be back after the Preg Red Devil timeout. It's on the day to you, and the others on your plan really need that's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Okay, and we're back. Second and ten. Stroud driving on Preg. See if we can actually get a stop right here. Come on, defense. Baker underneath the center. Blackheart behind him. Oh, I believe that's number 40. So oh. he's going to throw it to the right-hand side. It's picked off by number three, Aiden Auld, and knocked out of bounds by number four, Morris, as, De as uh, Baker got destroyed in the backfield when he threw the ball. That, that was Connor Davis. Connor Davis puts a big hit on Baker as he's throwing the ball, which leads to a Aiden Ald and Aiden Ald interception. Good play there by the receiver, too, to kind of knock him out of bounds or else he was he Yeah, was if he doesn't get hands on him, he's gone. Aiden pretty quick, so Aiden returns it back a few yards. The ball will be placed inside the 40-yard line about the Preg Red Devil 38, first and 10. Yeah. Got to stop. That's what we needed. 2.02 so. left here in the first half. Let's see what the floor general has in store here. He's, he's in the shotgun with McGinnis behind him. I don't think him. our offense has not been stopped. Tripp's going to pass it here. He's looking for McGinnis on the right hand, left hand side in the flat. The pass is complete down to the Stroud Tiger 45 yard line. Apologize so there. I didn't have the camera in the right place. So McGinnis comes out of the backfield on kind of a wheel route, and Davis hits him right in the face mask with it. And yeah. McGinnis is knocked out of bounds. That, like I said, at about the 45-yard line, first and 10. Really Craig. good concentration there by McGinnis. He knew he was about to get hit, still reeled it in. And a great throw by Davis in between two Stroud defenders. I think he likes to get hit. <laughs> Davis takes the snap. He'll hand it off to Trevor right. McGinnis up the middle. He jumps oh, a guy, oh. still on his feet. I have no idea. <laughs> and he's finally drugged down by two Tigers. That's number two and eight, Morris and Baker on the stop. And that's going to be another first down for Preg. Tell you the big guy's quick in the backfield. So 147, 141 left in the half. Davis under center. Takes the snap. 
fakes the handoff rolling out right. He's looking to throw. One on one. Nope, he's gonna he's gonna run it. Oh, oh he dropped the ball. He got it back. So Davis wanting to roll out was kind of pump faking downfield to try to confuse the defender. Loses the ball but quickly jumps back on it. He'll gain a few yards. So we'll call it second about seven here. Okay, so I had a message to explain the floor general. So myself and Trell back in basketball, I'll tell you after this play. So um, Davis underneath center. He'll hand it off. No, he's going to keep it. He faked the handoff to Trevor McGinnis. He's got room, and he fell down. Mm, turf monster. <laughs> he got sniped. <laughs> we always call that when, when we're doing doing some of the police stuff. We get to running and stuff. You fall down, and you just got sniped from the tower. So, again, big run by Davis. Um, okay, so the floor general stuff. When me and Trevor were doing basketball last year, we gave some of the players nicknames, and Tripp being one of the captains of the basketball team, we come up with the floor general. That's kind of a – basketball themed so Davis will take the snap here he'll hand it off to McGinnis up the middle who trucks a couple of guys he'll gain five or six here be second about five so again we gave um, most of the starters on the basketball team and well and most of the reserves um, nicknames last year and it just so happened to be that you know Davis was kind of the guy that played the point guard and directed traffic so me and Trell called him the floor general we also gave Peyton Ezell as the gazelle <laughs> so um, and a couple other nicknames that we had. Got to come up with McGinnis's nickname. So we were thinking about that, and uh, I don't know something like the T train. What about Menace? McGinnis the Menace. <laughs> That's pretty good. We'll have to we'll have to come up with some more nicknames. Uh, we just got we honestly, man, we got bored on a uh, on a tournament. We were waiting in between games, and uh, we were doing the girls and the boys, and we started giving some of the girls kind of nicknames too. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, we have Nate Hollywood Lester. I remember that one. That was a pretty good, pretty good nickname. A lot of those guys will be back too. We'll see him this Cameron year. Cameron Hightower. He was the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, they're gonna have everybody back this year, and, and including Trevor. You mm -hmm. know, like I said, I've never seen Trevor play basketball, but they say he's just as good at basketball as he is football. So I have seen him play basketball, and can confirm he is pretty mean, quite the player. So Tripp's gonna be under center here with McGinnis right behind him. Aiden Ald to McGinnis's left. He'll snap the ball. He'll fake it. He's looking to throw Davis's. He's kind of in trouble here. Oh, he's looking for Cooper Smith out there. It was kind of open, but Davis tucks it, and he's going to be down to about the three, and they've got to hurry here. 22 seconds left. I'm not really sure if we have a timeout or not. 18, 17, Looks like we 16, don't have a timeout. 15. I'll keep you guys updated on the clock as the Red Devils jump on the ball. 13 seconds left. Davis snaps it, and he spikes it. So they let it's still running. It should oh. be about ten and a half seconds left on the clock. It's showing eight and a half, but they didn't stop the clock. And Coach Hedge is out there letting them know about it, or he's letting Trip know about something. Yeah, the officials are calling the timeout to talk about it. It should definitely be about ten and a half to eleven seconds. I looked right after he spiked the ball, and it was right at ten and a half. And they're not going to give us our seconds back. They've got eight point six left on the clock. Coach Hedge is not up. Is not happy. Yeah, they let a good two seconds. Oh, he's going to get a flag here if he's not careful. Hedge is still giving it to the head referee, and rightfully so. So Hedge is still having words with the head, the, the, the white hat down here near the 25-yard line. Again. And I'm assuming now they've got one second on the clock. So I'm not really sure what is going on here. I think the coaches are just as confused as we are, Mike. It's got to be over the clock. He keeps pointing at the far referee here closest to us. Hmm. They did put 10 seconds, though, back on the clock. Okay, so now we got 10 on. I'm happy with that. I don't know 
what Coach Hedge was so upset about. Maybe he was just having trouble. Anyways, 10 seconds left. Ball's on about the, what, four-yard line. Davis under center here. He'll take the snap. Fakes it to Aiden off. He's going to throw it out to Cooper Smith in the flat. Touchdown. He got a foot down. a baby. Cooper Smith with his first touchdown of the year as he runs kind of a little out hook route to the outside. Davis hits him right in the hands, only where Cooper could get it. And a big catch by the senior here with 5.8 seconds left in the half. 41-22 your score at the moment, pinning the extra point. Just a tough sequence of events there for Stroud. You know, it was it was 22 to 21. We were talking about this is the first time the Red Devils have been down all year in the second quarter. And you look big up interception. at halftime, it's going to be at least 41 to 22. Ringle's kick is no up, good. and it's short. So it's going to be 41 to 22, barring something happening in, in 5.8 seconds. Right. So um, uh, no, again, no, no homecoming half, uh, festivities at half. Um, it'll just be about a 20, 20 minute, um, 15, 20 minute halftime. The and band. Then, yeah, the band. We'll leave it running on the band. I think this is the band's first home home. Uh, performance in their uniforms. Right. So. Right for homecoming. I'm kind of partial to this drum, the drum, yeah. the lead drummer in the band. So my son is the lead drummer. Again, Trail is usually up here with me, but he can't be up here if he's got to be playing the drum. So, so I know they've been working pretty hard on this stuff. Um, a lot of new, you know, obviously Miss Evie not here this year. Um, Miss Mall has taken over, who was Evie's assistant for I guess a couple of years before then, and uh, they've been doing a lot of different things. He'll come home and tell me about, and, and I think their first competition for folks that want to go, um, you know, support the, the Pride of Prague, I think it's the 25th. It's a Saturday of September, and I can't remember where it's at, but I'll get it to you before then. But, again, I'd like to see the football team go go support some of the band, you know. You know, the band supports every football team. Let's see if we can get the football team down to support the band. So, Ringles, after missing the extra points, is going to kick off here. Big boot down the left-hand side. Really good caught. Looks like number four, Morris, is going to take it at about the 30. He's dancing around up near the 40, and he's tackled by Jayon Friend, Ryan Hedge, and a whole bunch of other Red Devils. That's, that's the so end. that's going to be halftime, guys, as that ran out the halftime as we have an injured Tiger on the field. Looks like cramps. I hope he's okay. He's, he's up now. Up. He's getting up. May have got stepped on there, too. So halftime, guys, ladies and gentlemen, 41-22 to 22 as Preg starts off really slow, finishes fast, and... We'll give it, I don't know how long, I think they put 15 minutes up. So in about 15 minutes, Parker and I will be back with the second half. I'll leave the camera rolling so you guys can watch the band.
Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at
Ha! I guess we've been talking to everybody. We didn't have our audio on. So we have audio now. If you just missed everything that we just said. So long that's touchdown. Awesome. Long, yeah, touchdown long touchdown there by Aiden Ald. <laughs> yeah, great run by Aiden there to start the second half. As Ringles on to kick the extra point. That's my fault. I didn't turn the audio on. So Ringles' kick is up and looks good. Is good. 48-22 with 11-11 in the third quarter. Prague extends its lead on a what? A two or three play drive there? Um, if that. That was two. Two, yeah. two plays, yeah. We had the trickeration play and then touchdown. So now, not a big math guy, but I think Preg has scored 27 unanswered. We needed it. I mean, I mean, Stroud was like, like you said, up at times in the middle of the second quarter. So, looks like Taylor Ringle's gonna kick off for the Red Devils again. Big How many touchdown drives though have been like less than five plays? Yeah, a lot of them. I feel like three or four. I mean, one was one play. Trevor's one play. Well, and like I said, like I said, in a couple of weeks when uh, I'll be gone, Parker will be doing it. In a couple of weeks that the Red Devils travel to Millwood. I mean, that's that's going to be the first real, real, real test that we're going to have, and we'll see how good we are that game as we'll have to play Millwood and Jones later on in the year, who both are really, really, really good. I believe both on the road too. And I looked up that uh, the quarterback for Jones. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's a commit to Iowa, so you get to play a true D1 quarterback. As Ringles kicks down the middle, it's fielded by Huey, number 20. He'll dance up the middle to about the Stroud 35-yard line, and that's where Stroud will take over. Yep. Speaking of Iowa, uh, that's where game day tomorrow is for the Iowa, Iowa, Iowa State, State game. Yeah, we'll see how good Iowa State is tomorrow, too. Yep. You know, they were really highly touted coming in here. First time that it's been uh, both teams are in the top ten ever. Yeah, except ever. the Hawkeyes are like ten, right? Hawkeyes... I was number ten, I yeah, think. Yeah, or nine. I think it's nine. Four versus nine, I think, or. Oh, six, they're not four. Six versus nine, maybe. Yes, maybe something like that. All right, so Stroud will take over from the thirty-five. Baker under center. He's got no back behind him. He'll put one in motion. Hands it off to number twenty Huey going around the right hand side. He's got a little bit of room. He cuts it back up. Gets a few <laughs> few yards before he's tackled. By third and third and roughly fourteen here for the Tigers. Again, 9.50 left in the third quarter. Red Devils 48, Stroud Tigers 22. Sorry, we had a little bit of – had to switch internet, so I'm going back and forth. So hopefully it'll – we'll get something more stable up here in the future. Again, like you said, fumble that was recovered by Stroud. So third in – what a long ways, 14? Yeah, that's what they're – that's what the scoreboard says. Maybe a timeout here. Yep. Stroud. Stroud timeout here. So 9.29 left in the third quarter. Timeout Stroud will be back after the timeout. Touchdown graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on T-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here. All right, and we're back after the timeout. Third and 14 for the Stroud Tigers. As Baker goes quick under center, Blackheart behind him, got a guy in motion. He'll keep it looking to pass over the middle. Oh, and he's grabbed, he's hit by two or three. That's gonna be uh, Connard, or Cooper Smith with the sack. That's like his second or third sack. I wonder if they're gonna call face mask though. Along with a touchdown, and again, flag on the field in the backfield. We may have, may have had a uh, red devil. Interesting call there though. No, holding. Okay. So it's a holding call against Stroud, so that'll be declined. I thought that would have been an interesting place because I couldn't – there's no way the official could have seen if that was a face mask there too. So I did see his head dip like a face mask, but I couldn't really see. Yeah. So that'll be declined. It'll be fourth and – well, a loss of about two or three right there. So fourth and about 
16 for the Tigers, and it looks like they're going to punt here. Number 11, Zeb Blackheart to punt. Trip Davis, number one, deep for Preg. It if looks like it's kind of an offensive formation, too. They could definitely run a play out of this. If this ball gets to Davis, I think look out. He's got a lot of space. Yeah, he returned two or three punts last year. Kick right down the middle, Great right at punch. Davis. He's going to let it bounce once. Oh. And I think he's a little gun shy from the first one. Yeah. So um, uh, about an good even punt. bounce. A really good punt. So 43-yard line is where the Red Devils will take over first and 10 with 9.13 left in the third quarter. Tripp was standing at about the 50-yard line, so he was expecting it further up. I thought he would goes. catch that in the air. Yeah. Or maybe it just kind of dropped on him and he misjudged it or something. But, again, he may have been a little gun shy, like I said, from the earlier one. That yeah, and also, you know, you're up 26 points. There's play no it safe, play it smart. Yeah. No risks. So, um, let's see. Yeah, he's L, Ald, and McGinnis in the backfield with Davis at quarterback in the shotgun. He'll take the shotgun snap, hand it off to Trevor McGinnis up. So no, that's uh, Braden Davis up the middle, not Trevor McGinnis. As Braden Davis gets about three yards, be about second and seven maybe. So they may be giving McGinnis a little bit of rest here and let Braden Davis run the ball a little bit. Again, Davis still in the backfield with Davis. Triple take the snap, hands it off to Braden Davis. Again, he's got a big hole up the middle. Great blocking by number 56 right there. I think that was Holes Apple who created a huge hole for Braden Davis and took out a linebacker, and that'll be a big gain and a first down for Prague. 8.31 left in the third. Ball be spotted at about the 31-32 of the Tigers. It's a pretty good running here from Davis to start this second half for the Red Devils. Trip now in the pistol. He'll take the snap. He'll turn around and hand it off. No, he's going to fake it to Davis. He's rolling out. He's, gonna, he's got somebody up in the flat. That's Aiden Old wide open in the flat. And, oh, he runs a guy over near the 15-yard line. And that'll be another first down inside the red zone. It looks like they'll place it at about, what, about the 15-ish? 14. Another really solid play there by Davis. Got a Man. guy tracking him down in the backfield. That was number 10, I believe. And he was rolling out to his left there, so he had to turn around yeah. and throw across his That's body. That's a tough throw. And he that hits all right in the chest, and Aiden just ducks his head and trucks a man that was right there. Brady about Nichols, 50. Brady Nichols for Stroud in pursuit. So uh, Trip Davis again in the pistol, the shotgun. Braden Davis behind him. He'll pull, he'll pull it from Braden Davis. He's going to tuck it up, and there goes Trip doing Trip stuff. Man, that is. I good. mean, those are some moves, man. You can't teach that. So Trip Davis pulls it from the uh, belly of Braden Davis. He just takes it and just dances through the middle and doesn't yeah. ever get, even get touched. He looks, out like, he looks like he's moving at a different speed than everybody else. I mean, I don't think anybody even touched him. Yeah. So 7.52 left in the third quarter as Preg scores again, making the score 54-22. to 22. I mean, there's and three people that, I mean, left with their hands, you know, tied saying, I thought I had him. So, pinning the extra point here, let's see what's going to happen and what Preg decides to do here. What happened? I didn't see what happened. 
Okay, so Davis takes the snap. He pitches it out to Peyton Ezell, who gets about five yards. He scored. I have no idea why they called him down. Uh, the, the coaches were talking to the referee, so they negated Trip Davis's touchdown. But the points are still on the board. Well, that's just because they haven't taken them yeah. off yet. So second and like eight from about the what twelve yard line. And I didn't see any penalties. Maybe I, maybe he might have been down, but he never was touched. All right, Davis pulls it. No, he's going to hand it to Braden Davis, who's up the middle trucking, and he'll get down near the five yard line. That'll be close to a first down. I think he's just short. He gets to about the four and a half yard line. And that's right where the first down marker is. I guess they're going to call it third and two here. You can even do it like this. So the jumbo formation for the Red Devils is Davis is under center. He'll turn and quick hand it off to Braden Davis, who's got gets his feet wrapped up. That should definitely be enough for the first down to make it first and goal inside the five yard line. So first and goal. I'm talking with my with my buddies on the Squirtle app here. They're talking about how slippery Trip Davis is doing trip stuff, so it's kind of neat. So Davis is going to turn and fake it. He's got room to run. Just keep it. He'll walk in untouched. So now they'll give him his touchdown. 6.37 left in the third quarter. Trip Davis walks into the end zone on a run pass option, and now that'll be kick the score up to 54-22. to So... Ringle, number 73, on for the PAT for the Red Devils. He's missed a couple, but he's made a couple tonight. Snaps good, holds good. Ringle's kick is up, and it's right down the middle. So Ringle stays money from the uh, PAT line. 55-22, to 22, your score, 637 left in the third. We'll be back for the kickoff. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Okay, and we're set to kick the ball off as Ringle number 73 is set to kick it for the Red Devils. Big boot down the middle for Ringle. It'll be taken at about the 20-yard line by number 20, Huey. He'll run around the right-hand side, and he's tackled by number seven, that was Hedge. I and that was Connor 21. Klein again, 53. Yeah, 53. 21 was in on it, too. Cody Knapp. So 32-yard line, a return of about 12, 13 for the Tigers as they'll start first and 10 with 631 left in the third quarter. Well, Mike, what do you think are some going into the bye week next week for the Red Devils? What do you think are some of the things you could take away from this game for the Millwood game? Oh, tackling. They're going to have to tackle when they when they when they get a chance to get to wrap somebody up, take them down, they're going to have to take them down. Baker under center is going to hand off to Blackheart. He's going nowhere. I'm not sure who it was, but I think it was a, is Cooper Smith in there again. 
who hits Blackheart number 11 in the backfield as he was getting the ball, and that'll be a loss of about one or two. But going back to your question, Parker, yeah, I mean, we all know Millwood's going to have athletes on both sides of the ball. They're going to be fast. They're going to make few mistakes. And the chances that we have the open field tackles, we're going to have to bring them down. None of this bouncing off of it. You know, like Blackheart made a couple of runs up the middle. You know, four of our guys hit him and couldn't take him down. That's not going to – it's going to have to happen. Yeah, and also from an offensive standpoint, I mean, let's be honest. You know, the teams that we've been playing haven't had – Enough speed to take care of Davis. Baker fumbled the ball. Preg says they have it. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. And Preg does have it. So Baker fumbles the snap, and it's going to be a turnover at about the 30-yard line in favor of Preg. That's not going to be the case against Millwood, though. They're going to yeah. have guys that can set the edge. And I don't think they're going to be fumbling the snaps and stuff like that. Yeah. They're so. Yeah, mistakes. For sure. So I know when we, we started off playing Luther, I mean, I think they had like 19 or 20 penalties in that game. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, we played really teams like – Really clean game tonight, I think. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, there's all been a couple. Done. Um, Not bad at all, but, you know, that game – Couple holdings, but that's uh, normal. I mean, that that's going to kill anybody's momentum, spirit. When you have 20 – as we have a new quarterback in, it's going to be Guy Rex is going to come in for the Red Devils, number five. And Trip Davis will have a seat. Rex Geyser is your new quarterback. And we have a flag in the back back. False. No, it's going to be a delay of game. So a, a, a few uh, new faces in there this game. Number 18, Ethan Rich is the back in the back along with, um, I think that's one of the Davis guys too. No, Braden Pickard. Number six is in the backfield with Grant McGinnis and Rex Geyser. Geyser's going to hand off to Ethan Rich up the middle, and he's long and running, still running. Ethan breaks it out to the left. Ooh. Ducks his shoulder and is taken down by three Tigers near just inside the 10-yard line. Like you said, Ethan Rich ducked his head there. He wanted the contact. You know, he's a really good bat. I mean, he ran really good last week. Oh. Flag down where the tackle was made. I'd look this to probably be some extracurricular activities, as I like to put it. Probably somebody jawing or running their mouths. Maybe we something we couldn't see, like a face mask. Yeah, we'll see what they're... So here's the call from the head referee. Oh, oh. oh they might pick it up. Sprague's ready to go again. Got a bunch of new linemen in there, too. Ringles in there. It looks like the right guard or tackle. Gian Friend is the split out. They're going to wave the flag off, so no penalty. So backup Rick Geyser is in there. Um, Ethan Rich is behind him still. Braden Picker to his right. Grant McGinnis to his left. I'm pretty sure that's Trevor's little brother. So yes. Geyser will take the snap. He'll hand it off to Ethan Rich up the middle. Ducks his head and gets maybe one or two there. It's going to be close to the 10-yard line. It's going to be a first down, though. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, no, I, I, think couldn't it's first. The, I couldn't see the, uh, the, the sticks there. Yeah, it's going to be second and goal. Second and goal from the, what, eight, Parker? About the eight? Yeah, yeah. or the nine, eight or nine. Some subs are coming eight. in and out. Preg better hurry. They got 15 seconds to get this playoff. Again, guys are under quarterback. We got a new running back in the back. That's number 12, Adrian Henley. Guys are will take the snap. He'll keep it after faking it to Henley, and he's going to lose yards. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage. <coughs> As they kind of blew up the middle there, the Tigers did. That was number 40. Case and Presley who blew it up in the middle. I think they did lose a yard there. They're going to put it third and nine. Third and nine now. Or from the nine. Yeah. Really third and goal. Yeah, we knew what you meant. <laughs> so Henley's going to stay in behind Geyser. Six or I seven here? Maybe or only one. I remember he was short that one time. So Ringles. Oh, and the snap was fumbled. Get up, Trip. New trip stuff. 
Trips looking for somebody down as the bot snap. Throws it across. Oh, and Cooper Smith had it go right through his hands. Smith was open, had a window. Trip got it to him right in the hands, and it just went right through his hands. So the extra point attempt is no good after Davis couldn't handle the snap with 4.06 left in the third quarter. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a second. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Okay, and we're back as Ringle's set to kick it off for the Red Devils. I mean, we scored a lot of points tonight, and we still got a whole other quarter. Big 73 tees it up and lets it fly right down the middle to number 20, Huey. He'll take it at about the 15, 20-yard line. He'll get it all the way up inside or just outside the 30 to about the 30, 31 of the Tigers, and that's where they'll start first and 10. So several new defenders coming on for the Red Devils, too. As it looks like Braden Pickard is going to be in the back. As well as Jayon Friend is going to play a corner position. Grant McGinnis should take over somewhere in the middle. Ryan Hedge is there at linebacker with Braden Davis. And number 41. Let me find him. Trevor Worley. I knew that. So Baker, the quarterback, he'll take the snap. He'll fake the handoff looking to throw it. He's got a man wide open in the flat. That's Huey. And both Worley and uh, Grant McGinnis both missed him. And then he was finally taken down by Hedge, I think. So a big gain of about nine there up to about the 41-yard line. Be second and one. So Baker under center, he'll take the snap, hands it off to Huey. number four running around the right side. Got room. He's got a couple rooms. He'll definitely get the first down past midfield. That's number four, Dylan Collins for the Tigers. We got not really sure what's going on out there. Official, Official timeout. Hand. We've had quite a few of those tonight. I know we're behind on time. It's getting pretty late. But we've got an official timeout near midfield. And I, I don't, again, I, this is about the fourth or fifth time they've got together to try to, you know, get something right. It looks like we're ready to go now. So first and ten, Stroud Tigers from the 49 of the Preg Red Devils. 224 and counting in the third. Baker's going to hand off to Blackheart up the middle. Stuck by a couple of Preg Red Devil defenders. He'll get all the way to the 45-ish. Should be about third and six here. Be second and six. Sorry, I apologize. It was third down. 150 in the third and counting. Roll clock roll. Stroud's only got 11 seconds now to get this off. 
As Baker's rallied the troops, they've got their signals and they're sprinting towards the line. Five seconds to get it off. He's got a guy in motion. He turns around and hands it off to number 40. Oh, and he's snatched and pulled backwards after a gain of about two or three. The ball carrier is number 40, Kaysen Presley yeah, that's of the we, Stroud. That's why uh, we mentioned a long time ago he was in the backfield early in this game. And uh, I, I'm not who, not sure who got a paw on him, but but he tried to bounce it out to the right, and one of the Red Devils just snatched him up and drug him backwards. So third and short, let's call it third and three, 107 left in the third quarter. And again, like you said earlier, Parker, I'm pretty sure this is two down territory. So we're gonna have I would to stop him so. twice. I would assume so. Baker's gonna go hurry up here. It's going to be Presley again up the middle, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get the first. Yeah. Big hole up the left side. Be first and 10 from the Red Devil 37-yard line. I think they'll be able to run maybe one or two more plays here before the quarter goes, goes out. Depends on how fast Baker wants to run up to the line because they, they don't mess around with it. They get up there and snap it. Yeah, and that was something that the Red Devil struggled with early in this game. Something to maybe Millwood will look at on film. and Right. Baker will take the snap. He turns. He's going to pass on the left-hand side. He's got a guy open on the left. He's got it. And it's caught. I believe that's number 10, Nichols. It is uh, number 30 for the Red Devils on coverage. Let me find him. Zach Greer on coverage there for the Red Devils. Good coverage. The guy just had a step on him. And it was a well-thrown ball by Baker. And it looks like that'll end the third quarter, seven seconds and counting. So 61 to 22, uh, the Stroud Tigers driving near the, what, 30, 25, 30 yard line. And we'll be back 20, with, the, yeah. with the fourth quarter after this. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. All right, we are back here in Prague, Oklahoma. I'm here with Mike Myers. I'm Parker Terrell, and I will be taking over the play-by-play -play duties here in this fourth quarter. As the clock has started and the Stroud Tigers are in the red zone at the 20, the Red Devil 20, and they are driving as Baker takes a snap, hands it off to, I can't see, uh, Morris there on the outside, I believe. He's taken down, though, by Connor Klein, number 53 for the Red Devils. Who was number four? Sorry, that was Dylan Collins for Stroud. Dylan Collins on the carry gets about two or two. Connor Klein on the tackle. This clock continues to run here. 11 minutes left about in this fourth quarter. The Red Devils are up 61 to 22 on the Stroud Tigers. Thank you all for listening in tonight on this Scordle broadcast. Uh, we appreciate it every week, all Stroud and Preg fans. As Baker takes the snap again, hands it off again to it looks like. Can't see. It was Collins again. I don't think he got. Oh, yeah, they're, say, they're giving him about two. Two yards on the carry by Collins. It's going to bring up about third down and 
in eight or seven. Okay, so in between plays there, I was looking up the rankings. I hope this is right. So we're talking about Jones and Chandler. Chandler's actually ranked number four in Class 2A right now, and Jones is five right behind them. And what are we ranked, Mike? I'm looking, I'm looking. We are ranked 14 at the moment. Okay. As Baker takes a snap again, hands it off to number 20 from Stroud over to the right side. He's dragged down, though. Braden Davis by Braden him. Davis. Number 20 for the Tigers is Bryce Huey. So we have several teams that we're going to play that's going to be in the t inside the top ten. Millwood will be the next game. They're ranked number nine. And then I do know we play Chandler and Jones, which are four and five. And, again, Prague at the moment ranked 14. That was Bryce Huey there on the carry around the left side. Only got about two or three, though, on the carry again. It's going to bring up about fourth down and six for Shroud here in Red Devil territory. Also, Parker, we play Crossing Christian, too. That's ranked, I think, 24th. So several teams we have yet to play inside the top 25. For sure, Mike. As Baker takes a snap, fourth down. He's back to pass. He throws it to off to the right. It's caught. Oh, it's not caught. Incomplete. That's Trevor Worley, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, excellent coverage right there by Trevor, Trevor as he hits him right when he touches the ball. That was <coughs> Amari Morris, who we, of course, saw a lot in the first half, had two touchdowns, got it. Some injuries, uh, has, we haven't seen him since. Uh, I think we would classify that as a drop there, but he wasn't going anywhere no matter what. Uh, the Red Devils were surrounding him. So that's going to be a turnover on downs for the Tigers. That'll give the Red Devils another chance. Another chance there for the Rex Geyser, the Prague quarterback in now. We're at eight minutes, eight and a half minutes here in this fourth quarter. Red Devils are up on the Stroud Tigers, 61 to 22. Geyser in the pistol. Ethan Rich behind him. He takes a snap, hands it off to Rich, goes up the middle for about a yard. He was he was pretty well contained there in the middle. They're going to give him two. It's going to bring up about second down and eight here for the Red Devils. Guys are again in the pistol formation. He's going to take the snap. He's going to flip around. He's going to take it himself. He's running off to the left side. He's got a lot of room. He gets through. He, he goes down. He gets tackled there by number three for Stroud. He got a... Uh, a big gain there by Geyser with his legs. He goes down to at about the 38-yard line. That was Gage Wilson for Stroud on the tackle. Geyser there with about a, what would you say, Mike, about a 25-yard carry? Yeah, I mean, it was a really good run. I mean, Solid run there. There was a lot of room. Some good blocking outside uh, by number 24 for the Red Devils. 7.05 left in the game. Geyser again in the pistol. Takes the snap. Ooh. Play blown up in the backfield there. Maybe some miscommunication. That was yeah. number 34. Yeah, for he Stroud. blew it up on Dylan, the side. Dylan Gosnell uh, for the Tigers blew that up in the backfield. Uh, number six, Braden, Braden Pickard. Braden Pickard, yeah, was on the carry there. Backs the Red Devils up. It's going to bring up about second down and 17, roughly. Maybe 16. Six and a half minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Geyser takes the snap. He hands it off to Rich up the middle. Rich has got a hole. He breaks. He breaks through. Oh, no, sorry. That's number 12. He is on the loose. Adrian Henley. 12. Adrian Henley is on the loose there for the Red Devils. A huge carry. I couldn't see who took him down, though, for the Tigers. we got a flag, a late flag thrown there by the official. Maybe I don't know it's what. Th it's thrown right where he was tackled, right at the 40. But Adrian Henley busts up the middle there for the Red Devils, getting a first down and much, much more. Goes down at about the Stroud 39-yard line. I think they said it was a personal foul on somebody, but I didn't see who they said it was. Did I say that right? See who he said, yeah. 
Well, we'll know which the direction that they here. walk. <laughs> it looks like it's against Preg. Oh, it's going to go against the Red Devils. That'll back them up close to midfield here. So the big run by Henley is negated by the personal foul penalty. It's going to back the Red Devils up. I still think they're going to get a first it down. Is, it is a first down. Yeah. Oh, they got targeting. Is that they call targeting? I, I don't know if somebody could educate me. I don't know what that means. I don't know either what that signal means. I haven't seen that one before. It wasn't the targeting signal. It was like two fists together. I'm not really sure what that is. Either way, the Red Devils are going to get the snap at about their own 48-yard line. First down and 10. Geyser takes the snap. Hands it off to number four for the Red Devils around the right side. Breaks one tackle, breaks another, gets to the sideline, breaks another tackle. Oh, what a run. Gets the first down. That was M Mikey Swinford on the carry for the Red Devils. Broke three tackles there on the far sideline. They're going to give him 10 yards in the first down. Sorry, that was not Mikey Swinford on the carry. Some mix up there with the numbers. As Geyser is back to Geyser hands it off, uh, keeps it himself. He oh, he's wrapped up though in the backfield. Jenkins, is the last thing Jenkins, number four for the Red Devils is Jenkins. That was a smart play by Rex right there, just to go down. I mean, he was sworn by like four of them. Just go down. 4:08 left and counting in the game. Ronnie Jenkins there for the Red Devils, number four. You say, I know who Mikey Swinford is. That's not Mikey. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion there, folks. Mikey ran the ball a lot last year. Three minutes and counting, three, three and a half minutes and counting here in the fourth quarter. Red Devils up 61 to 22 over the Stroud Tigers as Rex Geyser is in the backfield. He takes a snap, hands it off to number 12, Adrian Henley. He breaks through the middle. He there breaks he goes another again. tackle, and here he goes to the 20. Big that carry there by Adrian Henley. Gets the first down and more. Good for about a 20-yard carry there. Brings him all the way down close to the red zone. Yeah, it's going to be a gain of 20 there. And the Red Devils are going to be in business in the red zone. First down and 10 from the 20. Guys are in the pistol. He's looking to the sideline. Still looking. He takes a snap. He takes it himself off to the right side. Stiff Good arm. Stiff arm. He's got room. Oh, but the tackle is made out of bounds. He's close to the first down. It's going to be close to the first down. Again, I cannot see uh, these Stroud numbers from this far away. Uh, but that was Rex Geyser on the quarterback keeper off to the right side. Uh, good for about five yards. It's going to bring up second down and five. Getting close to two minutes here in the second half. Wind down this second half here. <laughs> you should see the student section. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. But they're all, they're all dancing the with the band. The section in the band <laughs> is dancing as Geyser takes a snap, hands it off to Pickard. Pickard breaks oh, one nice. tackle. He's got room. He's going to go up the middle for a Red Devil touchdown. What a run. Braden Pickard broke one tackle, spun out of it, and just sprinted up the middle for another Red Devil touchdown. Braden Pickard to make it 67-22 to Red Devils. That was a good run. Everybody thought he was down on that first initial contact, and he just kept going. That's been the theme of the night for the Red Devils is missed tackles on offense. So uh, I'm, I'm, after this, I'm going to try to get one of our students, Cade Anderson, is dressed up uh, like – like uh, Ringle is in on the extra point. Cade's dressed up like uh, the Tiger King. Yes, Joe, Joe Exotic, Exotic. Joe Exotic is here tonight. Because we're, we're playing the, uh, the Tigers. Here Ringle takes a snap, and it is good. good. Ringle is good on the extra point. And that's going to make it 68-22 to 22 Red Devils here with under two minutes to go. So let me see if I can get him half. here. 
if I can get him here. As you can see him there in the middle, look. There he is. <laughs> oh, Kate Anthony's a distinct, dressed as a like, distinguished guest tonight. I mean, it looks really good. The, homecoming. The, the shirt has kind of set it off here. Joe it's Exotic like is a, here tonight uh, for the homecoming game. It's like a teal silver. He's got the. He's, he's even got a knee brace. He's uh, got a knee brace yeah. and a bar, a handlebar mustache. He's and uh, a carrying bar. around a plush tiger as well. Oh, sorry. And I think he did this last year when we played Stroud too. So, so. Cade, you can smile. You got your oh, five I didn't put two and two together. There. That's why. It's, he's the Tiger King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think it's pretty funny. What a fun night here tonight here in Prague. Homecoming. Uh, you know, safe to say this is going to be another win for the Red Devils, putting them 3-0 on the season, going into a bye next week. And, of, of course, the week after that, it's just going to be me solo. Mike is going to be uh, gone. So I will be taking you through the Prague versus Millwood game in Millwood on September 24th. Minute 54 here as Ringle, or not Ringle. Is set that is not off. Ringle. Number 79 for the Red Devils set to kick off. That is Tucker Cornell. Cornell boots it. Doesn't look I like it's going to go 10, 10 yards. yards. No, that didn't go 10 yards. So it looks like Stroud's going to get the ball at about the 49-yard line, the Red Devil 49. <laughs> Minute 52 left to go. It's 68 to 22 Red Devils on top of the Stroud Tigers here in Prague, Oklahoma. Yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Me and Parker enjoy doing this kind of stuff. For sure. It was really cool, like you said, all the homecoming stuff and the guys running out with their uh, American oh, flags. Yeah. And doing a tribute to 9-11 uh, before the game yeah. as well as the national anthem yeah. and stuff like that. One last – yeah, before we go, again, thank you. Uh, on the 20th anniversary of 9-11 tomorrow, thank you to all of our policemen, firemen, first responders, to you, Mike, a policeman in Shawnee. We thank you for your service, and we, we thank all of those who gave their life, not only on that day in 2001, but also after that. Uh, and I just hope that, you know, we think about those people not just on 9-11, but every day of the year because every day they're keeping us safe. So, again, right. thank you from all of us here in the And broadcast. we appreciate the support. And like I said, there's nothing better that I would rather be doing than what I've done for, you know, 12 yeah. years. It looks Baker like a box play. I don't know what happened. It. The ball's on the ground. He fumbled it, and the Red Devils have recovered. That looked like some kind of fumble rooski play there. Yeah, some, tri some trick. <laughs> a trick play there by Stroud ends up in a fumble. And number 21 for the Red Devils is who recovered it. That is Cody Knapp. Cody Knapp with the Red Devils. No, he, up. he's one of the, the reserves that's come in, uh, you know, towards the second half. And he, he we've called his name several times on the defensive end of the ball. Cody Knapp making some big hits. Yeah, so the Red Devils get the ball back with a minute and 35 and counting in this fourth quarter. They're probably going to run one play, I would think, and then maybe take a knee here. Guys are under center. Maybe just going to take a knee here. Uh, again, I want to thank Squirtle for, for, for yes. making us part of their pay dirt again this week. Yeah, he's going to take a knee here. And that um, – it's been kind of cool that we've been selected, you know, twice in three games um, as one of the featured eight featured games on their new pay dirt. If you guys haven't seen it, you, you don't have to watch it live. You can go back and watch. So you yeah. could watch it on PregRedDevils.tv, watch the game, and then later on you can go back and look at the pay dirt or vice versa, you know, whatever. Yeah. But I do know Squirrel has their app. You can get it on your phone. You can get it on any Internet connection on Squirrel. Um, just Google it, and you can kind of watch the pay dirt. It's really cool. And plus you get to watch a lot of different football from other areas. We are under a minute here, 40 seconds left to go, and it is counting down. Red Devils just running out the clock here and what will be their third win of the season. Red Devils start the year 3-0, and and that'll do it as Geyser takes the final knee in this game. Again, the Red Devils are going to come away with a 68-22 to win over the Stroud Tigers. Yeah, again, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, again, we have a bye next week. I'm 99% sure we have a bye next week. And then – Preg travels to their first true real test of the season in Millwood, who's ranked number nine. It should be a heck of a game. And, again, Parker will be there. I'll, that's the only game I'll miss this year, but Parker will be where. And I think I'm trying to talk Colton Williams into coming and helping you. So, okay. So uh, maybe maybe Parker and Colton will be up there in Millwood. Um, I think it's the 24th 
of September is yep. when the next game is. Yep. So again, thanks for watching. And remember, guys, tomorrow make sure you think about like what like what Parker said. Think about the people and the people that were affected on that day 20 years ago. And just and just when you're having fun, do whatever you're doing. I'm going to be playing golf, but the whole theme behind it is to remember all the first responders and the uh, and the uh, military and you know first responders being police, fire, EMS, yeah. 911 dispatchers. You know all that stuff is is ran together as it looks like both teams are going to get together and, and say a prayer at the end of the game. But, again, thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching. We're going to get out of here. It's kind of late. So we will see you guys in two weeks. Yeah. Thank you, guys.